Hi everyone, my name is Ron and I'm part of the tech team at Coleno. Today I want to tell you more about ChatGPT. What is it? Uh, how you can use it to reply to your emails with the AI generated draft made by ChatGPT and the use case, when is it really useful? So as many of you have surely heard by now, ChatGPT is that new AI powered text completion tool created by OpenAI and basically it enables anyone to put a prompt so a question, a text to be completed and ChatGPT will generate the text based on the information it has and we've used it at Coleno to basically when you receive emails be able to respond to them as you know you can send a very personalized workflow in Coleno in an automated way so that the recipient never knows it was actually automated because it's very personalized. But when those clients come back to you with specific questions, you need to respond to them. Reply has to be done by a human. So for example, in this case, hello, I've received the invoice that you mentioned, but I think there is a mistake as we ordered only three items, not four. Could you please correct it and resend? So what I'm going to do, I click reply, I simply click on generate reply. Now the system is communicating with ChatGPT, which says, Hi Nisa, I apologize for the mistake. I will correct the invoice and resend it to you right away. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. And I insert the reply. And that's all you have to do. So it can be very useful. Here in this example, obviously, it's a short reply. But imagine doing that at scale when you have like dozens or hundreds or thousands of emails to respond to every day and sometimes with more complex questions. So obviously, it's not always going to be 100% correct, but it already gives you the draft, the, the basis on which you can customize and arrange the email and what we've seen is that people spend much, much less time uh, responding to email with that 70 to 80 percent uh, uh, faster to 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 respond to all the the emails inbound communications received. The only limitation is that you can only use it to actually reply to an email, not to create a new email. The reason is that we basically use the context around to draft the reply when you start a new thread it's not always very clear what you want to communicate about so that's it for today's video please uh, reach out if you have any questions feedback ideas we're always happy to listen and see you very soon on coleno.com